Welcome to Programmatic Punch Asia Pacific. We're here for the first time ever doing this event. We've had brands like L'Oreal, we've had Intel, and we've been talking about topics like ad fraud on evolving mediums and how do you scale creativity for programmatic everywhere. Here's a taster of what we've been talking about today. Without a doubt, the biggest takeaway for me has been the idea of gaming and how it actually can be a platform for advertising. I don't think there's been enough conversations about gaming and as an avenue to reach out to new audiences. So it's an exciting space to hear more about and I think it's reassuring to know that it is brand safe and potentially an avenue to recruit female customers, which is something I wasn't aware of. Ad Colony got involved in Programmatic Punch because uh, we wanted to support the industry, support the drum, a publication that we're, you know, we're really passionate about, we love their events and their content, and also an opportunity to get in front of key industry leaders and help drive the ecosystem forward. I was just on a panel about digital out of home and OTT and fraud in these new evolving mediums. It's something that the industry needs to take really seriously and make sure we tackle fraud so that money goes back to these premium publishers and it's not taken away from brands and agencies. I've been a, a supporter of Gregory Punch for a long time. I think it's a great event. Uh, that inspires a lot of people to get on stage and talk about tough issues and not hold back as you might find in some other events. So it's great to see people, a lot of people from the industry coming together and sharing their views. Uh, so my key takeaway, I think, uh, trying to find a solution for a persistent ID. I know we're moving away from a uh, cookie-less world, we're moving towards a cookie-less world. So I think trying to find some sort of persistent identifier that helps the buyers buy against actual people and audiences is uh, a critical takeaway uh, and something we need to all work on as an industry. I think the best thing that I'm going to take away from uh, Programmatic Punch APAC today is um, consolidation. I felt like we got like diverse uh, points of view from you know the publishers, from platforms, from agencies, and then from the client side. And uh, one of the things that came across is that there's a lot of fragmentation in points of view, in data, and in the way that we measure efficacy and success. Um, so I take back that you know we need to sort of as an industry come together and work on consolidation. So the question is, what is the one thing the industry needs to focus on right now? And I think my answer is, 25 years ago the question was, how do you quantify your digital investments? I think 25 years as of today, same question. I think 25 years into the future, same question. How do we quantify our investments in digital today? The one thing that the industry should be focusing on right now is uh, increased collaboration. Uh, we have to stop working in silos, otherwise, I mean, and it's what we've been hearing since this morning, it's not going to work. We're not going to be able to move forward and deliver better campaigns, both for the clients and the end consumer. So my top takeaway is that essentially Southeast Asia is still facing uh, some challenges, I would say, around uh, surfacing supply when it comes to advanced TV, but we're making great strides in being able to bring that supply to the market and to buyers. My top takeaway from the session is that transparency is really important um, and that also brand safety means different things for different brands. Um, what necessarily comes down from global doesn't make sense for this region so it's about making sure that you don't take that cookie cutter approach but you really localise it for the markets that we work in here in Southeast Asia. I think the industry should really focus on developing its young talent. I think it changes so quickly and there's so many new trends that occur. Um, developing our talent so that they're legitimately curious, they're able to really dive into the new things that are happening and they're also really learning how to problem solve, really being able to unpack these complex issues that we tackle. You know, that's going to serve us well as the industry changes and really it's the, it's the companies that do that and develop that young talent, they're the ones that are going to stand the test of time. 